American general. Russia lost more than 70 aircraft in Ukraine. Ukraine has destroyed more than 70 Russian military aircraft during the Russian invasion of Ukraine. Ukraine itself lost less than 60 aircraft. This was announced at the conference in Colorado by General James Hecker, commander of the US Air Force in Europe and Africa. This data on Russian combat aviation losses is lower than the estimates made by the UK Department of Defense, which a week ago reported the loss of almost 130 combat aircraft by Russia. Russian air defenses are located in Russia, Belarus and parts of occupied Ukraine and have the ability to move around. This has made it difficult for Ukraine to use air power in the combined arms counter-offensive the Ukrainians are planning for the spring and summer. They can't go over and do close air support, Hecker said. The US has attempted to bolster Ukraine's air force with AGM-88 harm anti-radiation missiles, which have been jerry-rigged to work with the country's Soviet-designed fighters. Obviously, they are not as integrated with the airplane as it would be if they're on the US aircraft. So they do have limitations, Hecker said, of Ukraine's employment of harms. But they're doing a pretty good job. The US has also recently provided Ukraine's air force with JDAM precision-guided bombs that have extended the Ukrainian strike capability. Hecker said that allows them to hit targets slightly beyond the current range of the GMRLS rockets fired by HIMARS launchers. The GMLRS rockets the US has provided Ukraine have a range of nearly 80 kilometers. The US has declined to provide Ukraine with long-range ATA CMS missiles, which have a range of nearly 300 kilometers. Recently, we've just got them some precision munitions that had some extended range and can go a little bit further than a gravity drop bomb. Hecker said.